Hey everyone, I uh, showed you guys the uh, picture of my square second monitor for my dual monitor setup, but the uh, white backlight that lit it up so you can see what was on the screen, it uh, sort of burnt out. So I took it back and for $10 they gave me an upgrade, which is that monitor. And it's a pretty nifty one. The last one I had was square, and it just sat there, didn't do anything, and it was like, this was all it could do. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, what that thing can do. And it has a resolution of uh, 1440 by 900, I think, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to show you what it's capable of. Now I have no clue if I'm in the frame correctly or not. So I'm just going to hope that you can see me as well. So, every monitor is capable of doing this. Up and down like that. This monitor is capable of going up and down like an elevator. But what this monitor can do that not many can do That's not the secret trick. That's the secret trick. So I just go into settings here and I can at any time just rotate this back to where it was and then put it at any level that I want it. So usually, I have it about the same level as my main monitor. So I'll go all the way up, and then turn it sideways, sort of locks into place. And then this can also go up and down too, a little bit. So I go into my settings, and uh, I'm going to display and this here is the second monitor and this here is the first monitor. So in this mode all the butterflies in the task bar are all sideways because it's in horizontal mode. So I just switch it to portrait mode and I put it approximately where it is which is roughly even with monitor number one and then I click apply and it changes it for me. Now there is a keyboard shortcut that you just press, it's a keyboard combination, uh, you just press a couple of keys. I think it's like control, alt, shift, and left, right, or something like that. Well, a friend of mine in high school accidentally came across it when he was fiddling with the keyboard. He's like, whoa, I broke the computer. But he just realized how to turn the screen. I don't remember how to do that, so I'm going to have to look that up. So this is how you do it manually. So anyways, as you can see, I've got the taskbar at the bottom here, like normal. When I'm reading PDF documents or electronic books, I just bring them up on this one and then pull them over to here. For example, just take this window here and I just pull it over to the other side here and maximize it here. When I want it back over on the other one, Now this has a lower resolution so things appear bigger, but they're not really getting bigger. The screen is the same size but with lower resolution, so it's the pixels that are bigger, not the image itself. So this screen is not growing when I put it over here. It's simply the pixels on this screen are bigger than the pixels on this screen, so it appears bigger. Since this is 1080p by whatever, and the vertical resolution is 1080p, and this one's vertical resolution is 900. So anyways, that's the trick I wanted to show you. I think this monitor is going to do me okay for a couple days at least. I don't think the LED light is going to burn out anytime soon. So, it hasn't had any flickering or issues. But that's like the most tricked out monitor I've ever had. So I'm going to put it back to where it was, how I like it. Roughly in the middle. So 
And there we go. And for the record, I think uh, this monitor was like $40, $45, something like that. And I will put a link in the comments or the description to the uh, coordinates of the store I bought it from. It's 611 something something, but the address, uh, the building number is 611 and the door is number 12 and I'll explain uh, the address and the location of where I got it uh, either in the description or in the comments.